Hi, I'm Sherry from Mrs. S's room, and this is my walkthrough of my Math 360 program that I started. The reason behind this came from me being really organized, but sometimes being unable to find the resource I wanted. You know what I mean. You know you have that algebra resource. You know you have worksheets to go with it, but where did you put them? Are they in the same book, or are they even in the same cupboard? And sometimes it also includes items from my Google Drive, so it's also a matter of, is it in my Google Drive? Where in my Google Drive? So I wanted to pull together all of my resources to make it almost like a one-stop shopping kind of experience for everyone. You open the folder and everything you need is contained within that folder. Now we're gonna walk through my algebra and central tendency resource, but this applies to all of my Math 360 programs. All of my Math 360 comes with detailed lesson plans. The lesson plans are broken up if you have a split grade. So you can see we have grade four on this side and grade five on this side. Each grade has its own detailed lesson. If you don't need to come or you don't need to separate the grades and sometimes that happens, then you have a combined box. So that happens occasionally when um, say for decimals, we're pushing the next grade to do to the tenths or to the hundreds, but the, the one grade only has to do um, to the whole numbers. So we want to combine them when we can, but they are most often separated. If you have a straight grade, you're going to find that you have detailed lessons and then notes or tips over here, things to watch for, look for in students. In my algebra patterning unit, I include linear patterns, algebraic rules, term and value charts, hands-on tools, isolating variables, composite patterns, markbook pages, anecdotal sheets, central tendency, graphing expressions, isolating variables, and expressions using decimals. Also included in my Math 360 algebra unit is my central tendency unit. So students will calculate mean, median, mode, and depending on their grade, they might calculate range or they might only calculate mean and median. Um, whatever your grade is, that's what that central tendency will cover. And it, this includes a fun hands-on hands -on lesson that can be completed digitally or in class. This is a screenshot of my grades five and, or sorry, grade five algebra unit. You can see that these are all the files that you're going to receive. You will receive these self-grading quizzes, and you will also receive all the other files that are in here. Note that differing from my mini algebra unit, the things that are grayed out in these teal boxes, these are the items that you're going to receive that you, if you buy the Math 360. If you buy the mini algebra unit, you only get the things that are white. So in the Math 360, you also get these spiral math resources. So let's look at those. My spiral math is a question a day covering every strand every week. This helps students to review concepts. It helps them to keep it fresh. In fact, it's something that the ministry is really pushing because if you look at their long range plans, they've really spiraled them. So this will help students stay fresh on all the concepts you want them to by repeating things consistently over the year. It also includes math interactive notebooks, which if you don't want them, you don't have to use them. They're just telling you what the concept will be next week that might be new to students. So for example, next week, you can tell that the grade fives are going to do something to do with decimal numbers and knowing the place value of decimal numbers. So if you haven't taught that, it's worth spending the Friday instead of doing a question because there is no question there it's worth just briefly touching on that. In my patterning unit, there are teaching videos embedded. You can either use the link or if it works for you, you can use the video that plays. Um, and you can use it for yourself or I suggest using it for students for homework if you want. This is the only homework I assign students. And that way, once they've seen the teaching video, they can come back to class and we can just do the practice and it really does reduce how much talking I have to do all day because they should have watched this video. And if they don't, then I tell them to go back and watch it 
before they practice with us because it's necessary. But you can also just use it for yourself as tips for you or maybe tips for parents. In my algebra questions, these tiles are all movable. So when it says build the pattern by dragging tiles from the left, you can actually take the tile and move it right over. And that helps show students how they're using algebra and patterning in a combined way. So together they're building a pattern, but then they're also going to turn that into an algebraic expression. It makes it much more hands-on for students. Um, it encourages students who are kinesthetic learners to apply the math. I've had a lot of students who were not my strongest learners do really well in this unit because they can see the math. And actually, there's a lot of research done that shows that students who are able to visualize this math can go on to higher level math like calculus and algebra in high school and trigonometry, all of which use this basic algebra. This is a visual representation of algebra, as I've said. So this visual representation actually helps students when we get to graphing as well. Um, and it also helps with quadratics when they get up to those higher level math skills in high school. In my Math 360 program, if there are rep worksheets referenced or there is an anchor chart referenced, it is made available to you. The idea of the Math 360 is there will be nothing listed in there that costs extra money. You have paid for this entire month worth of lessons and activities. So you will find that if it's in your lessons, it's found somewhere either in the Google files or in the um, plans, in the extra pages. It will clearly state where to find it. So please look for that, but it is, it is found within there. Also included in my Math 360, which has been really popular, is the mark sheets. These show you every expectation that is taught, not only in the spiral math, but in what the lessons are that you're teaching. They are color coded according to strands. So I know, for example, that blue is numbers. And this is actually all referenced within your unit in the PDF. So at the beginning, when you're looking through the detailed lessons, it will tell you what each color means. If you don't want that, that's fine. You don't need to use it, but it might help you in your planning to know what you've taught and how often you've taught it. And thank you for coming for my walkthrough. I really appreciate it. And feel free to check out mrsroom.com to find more teaching tips or email me at sherry at mrsroom.com.